This week on Sail Away, the challenges of owning two boats continue. I feel like owning two boats is one and a half too many. We still don't have refrigeration. We've been buying ice like the bartender in Satan's Tavern or something. I don't know. We don't have a dinghy motor, so we don't have a dinghy. We don't need a dinghy. Get off the boat. <laughs> but we make some fun discoveries too. So yeah, we dug this spinnaker out of the sail locker. Maybe it's better than no spinnaker. We are going to move this boat for the first time ever. He's gonna try to give me multiple hand signals and hopefully not the this bad one. kind, yeah. And with the stresses mounting, we do the only sensible thing, run away. If only around the corner to beautiful Sandy Island. Actually have some fun and splash around and do some things with some people. I haven't been doing much of that. All right. We also give you a mini boat tour of the new boat, and with Cecilia's yard work done, it's time for her survey and sea trial. One last time. Get your feel. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. And I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. Our moving aboard saga continues. I, mean, I guess you could call it our moving aboard saga. We are moved aboard already, but it's still a saga. But it's gotten quite a bit better since we got Cecilia hauled out. That took one really big strain off our minds, not having you know two boats out here at anchor at the same time. And we had a mini hurricane blow through just a couple days after we hauled her, so maybe, uh, maybe that was good timing. <laughs> They saw, what was it, 80, 80, 80 miles an hour in, in Grenada. Grenada. <laughs> Somebody here in Tyrell saw 50, 50 knots gusts. But our day-to-day -day struggles have been a little different. We still don't have refrigeration. The main refrigeration unit on this, the evaporator was replaced right before they came here and it was working great and it just quit. I messed with it a little bit today and turned it on and it's just getting a tiny bit of cool. We have been so busy with so many different things that we just haven't had a time to have somebody come look at it. When we found out today there is nobody. There's just no refrigeration person. This is not a big island. So in order to have anything done with it we're gonna have to go down to Grenada and we can't go to Grenada yet. We're still getting Cecilia ready for her new owners and once she's gotten her survey and we've closed on that then we will fully close on this boat then we can actually get out of this anchorage and go do some stuff so we've been buying ice like I don't know I was trying to think of an analogy buying ice like Eskimos makes no sense because they don't need to buy ice buying ice like the bartender in Satan's tavern or something. I don't know. I had to try way too hard for that. Like we need ice? We've been buying ice like we need ice a yeah, lot. Like we don't have any. Anyway, this is our new fridge. We're gonna go get some ice and put it in there and transfer all our refrigeration items into there and see how long they stay cold. Hopefully longer than two bags of ice per day. Basically paying seven, almost eight bucks US for ice almost every day now. We can't do that, it's a lot of money. That's gonna add up, but it's crazy. But otherwise, as you can see, the cockpit is pretty clear, but inside, it's looking a lot better. Things are mostly, mostly put away, I would say. We've still got a couple rooms that are full of a lot of stuff that needs to be kind of sorted. Quite a bit of stuff still to give away. But otherwise, you know, we're, we're not looking too bad. We've got tons and tons of storage on this boat. And we've got all these different cupboards, which are now closets. And 
then over here we've got tools galore all up and down these shelves his room is kind of a mess because we're going to be using that fifth room up there for his playroom and these aft bedrooms don't actually have a ton of storage his actual closet and stuff back here is pretty good we've got a good bit of room in there so his clothes are pretty decent pretty organized but he's got a lot of books he's got a ton of toys and right now it's just kind of all the foot of his bed <laughs> luckily he's small you know he's he's fine it doesn't bother him it bothers us mostly and then in our room even more closets Lauren's using that one I'm using the top one we have storage down in here which right now is shoes now I got laundry sitting on top of it I don't have a man or bed sorry the bathroom has tons of storage it's got a ton of storage down in here and then a whole nother huge cabinet inside the shower here which is nice and big so I'm giving you a little bit of a mini tour here I guess I don't know I just kind of wanted to show you that we're sort of getting moved on it's starting to feel starting to kind of feel like home I got all the leaking <laughs> for all these skylights stopped it's a definite band-aid yeah, we, we duct taped it I used some sealant and we used UV resistant duct tape all around the seams and then put the covers back on stopped it stopped every drip but we've had some pouring rain since then and we haven't had any anything really much leaked since since I did all those so that will do until we can get some place to get some good acrylic or polycarbonate again kind of a messy kitchen right now but most of our pots and pans and dishes and stuff are put away and then this will be Lauren's parents room which right now just kind of has some overflow and this is my studio some clutter back here absolutely some of my musical instruments are back in the corner here but my recording hood is right here over on this shelf and then I I made a shelf that goes across right there and it's kind of nice and cozy but that's sort of what you want in a recording area but that's been working I, I've actually started on a project Kathleen Brooks got to be my first project in my new studio again I think that happened last time too but it's sounding good and uh, that's it that's your that's your mini tour of our still messy but mostly moved in boat and now let's go get some ice and a couple of jugs of water continue our saga water boat is here This bag has come in so handy. It was expensive when we bought it. Basically anything marine is going to be more expensive, but uh, I would recommend that one 100 times over with how much we use it and we take it to the grocery store every time. Anything cold goes in it. And it keeps things fairly cold. Future bosun. Future rigger. Mommy, let go of the control rope. It's all you. I got some jobs up there for you if you want to go on up. No. I am. I'm scared of high weather coming in. Ah, it's fine. All right, Rivers, we're going inside. Yeah, you yeah, have fun. Me too. <laughs> when uh, things get complicated and problematic, they just seem to sort of multiply. So now we are without dinghy motor. We don't need a dinghy. Get off the boat. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, in the midst of all this other crap that we're dealing with, with both boats, 
Cecilia, things are, are coming along fine. There's a couple little um, fiberglass issues that they're fixing. We really did want to turn the boat over to the new owners. Ready to go and with as you know, boats, there's always going to be something. But with as, as few things to worry about as possible. So that all is good. It's taking a little bit longer. Our schedule's kind of getting lengthened a little bit. Hopefully that's kind of the extent of it. But the saga and drama with our dinghy motor and I just I hate it because that motor has been so good for so long almost no drama with that motor the entire time we've owned it just total bonehead mistake I put diesel in it you know from from Martinique I was aware there was <laughs> differences and you know they call diesel gas oil and that whole thing I knew that and yet I must have been distracted. I had a lot of stuff I was trying to get done. Just screwed up, you know? I just went and pumped it. I didn't think about it at all, obviously. And I'm just kicking myself. And the problem we have now is there's water in the oil. And I'm not an expert on small motors, so I don't know if somehow having diesel through it could have caused an issue with the the head gaskets or whatever so that the water is now getting into the oil and so we don't have a dinghy motor so we don't have a dinghy but we have a backup motor for a little while until we sell cecilia we can use the motor that goes with the dinghy that's going with cecilia which is up on the arch up on jacks in the yard so now i think we're going to take the dinghy motor off Put it on the mount on the back of this boat. Row to shore. Row your boat up shore. <laughs> and then see about getting that motor off the dinghy while it's up in the air like that. So that's the plan right now, is to figure out how to do that and swap the motor. Feeling a little somber today because of this. On the upside, our refrigerator is working pretty good. We're keeping ice for a few days now instead of having to replenish it every single day. And we discovered a spinnaker. Let's go look at the spinnaker, that's fun. So yeah, we dug this spinnaker out of the sail locker yesterday. And it appears to be an asymmetrical that I don't know if the previous owner used it or not. Uh, for a few reasons. I mean, there's there's no hardware up on the bows to support it and also no bow sprit. Uh, we have the hardware in the back to run it to and it does have a spin halyard, but currently the spinnaker halyard is attached to the jib, which it should not be. And there is a jib halyard too, so I don't know why that's been done, but we kind of dug that thing out though and, and uh, Kind of made a mess, got it out of the bag. It's in, a, it's in a nice, pretty nice sock. Just to see what condition it was in. And it's obviously older. Who knows how good a shape it's in. We certainly won't fly it in anything windy. And we shouldn't anyway. Might blow out the second we put it up, who knows. But we're definitely gonna put it up. Maybe it's better than no spinnaker. I guess we'll find out eventually. That's the news aboard right now. Anything else to report before we go try to muscle a bunch of motors around? It's just not been, it's not been uh, paradise. Yeah. No. But. There's not been a lot of joy on board <laughs> no. in the last week or so. It's just been really hard, a lot of things. But um, maybe eventually we'll be done. Yeah. And then we can have fun again. Yeah, it's just it's just nothing but but work and schedules and things having to happen at certain times and people who need this and people who need that and have to pay this person, have to pay that person and have to schedule this for another thing and it's it's pretty pretty miserable to be honest with you. Dealing with two boats in this way kind of sucks. It's good in a rip the band-aid off kind of way. I'm, I'm hoping down the road a few months that's how it'll feel you know hey we got it all done over the course of like a month and a half we're off of one boat 
and on the next and everything is clear and clean and like we're done. I'm hoping that we can <laughs> enjoy that fact in a month or so, looking back. Right now, in the middle of it, God, it just blows. It's just too much, man. It's, it's a, too many things to wrangle. And then on top of it, you know, I'm trying to get work done. I mean, you know, we have to have money to, to, to pay for all this. and But it's just very been very difficult to to get work done in the middle of all these other things that we're trying to take care of. And then, you know, our car dies on us. It's okay. We'll just dig ourselves out of one thing at a time and I'm sure it'll be fine. Growing. So glass half full, not only is rowing a really good workout, but in Tyrol Bay there's usually somebody willing to give you a tow. And this trip, at least, we hoped it would only be one way. And the little 15-horse two-stroke Yamaha is arguably the better of the two motors, especially when it's the one running. Today is the big day. We are going to move this boat for the first time ever. It's a little nerve-wracking. Just. Anytime you do something you've never done before, you should be a little worried, right? We're not going very far, we're just going over to Sandy Island, which is literally like behind this little point. So we figured that would be a good test. It's a little test, test drive. It's our first uh, foray out of the Anchorage. Friends at Sandy Island, I can't say no. <laughs> You ready for the motoring portion of our sea trial? Lauren just brought up the fact that we didn't really have a, actually have a sea trial on this, so. Here we go. Things are a little different on this boat, at least for now, as far as bringing the anchor up, because we only have anchor up and down control from the helm. But it's really not easy to see from back here. And it's much nicer if Lauren can control the anchor while I'm controlling the direction. So she's gonna try to give me multiple hand signals and hopefully not the bad kind. Yeah, beat me to it. <laughs> Even though our deal on this boat was technically not quite complete, after living on it and fixing things on it for a month, we felt more than comfortable enough to motor around the corner. And we really needed the break and Rivers really needed the kid time. Good water flow, that's always a good start. This should be our windless up. All right, well, let's do things. Okay.
nice and easy so far. This is our primary navigation. Won't be putting anything up that just yet. Sure is nice to be able to just pull the dinghy up. Yep. Just being untethered and moving again felt like a huge weight off our shoulders, even for such a short distance away. And with two new friend boats waiting for us around the corner, it felt like we were finally living the cruiser life again, if only for a short while. We're here! We made it. We made it. There you go. First time moving the boat and we didn't break anything. That we know of, yeah. That we know of. Yeah, we motored. Just motored the whole way because it's super short. Port side engine runs pretty hot. If that thing is accurate. And I don't know if it is. So I guess that's something I will keep an eye on. It doesn't run very high RPM. And I just kind of wonder if... The props are set properly on this thing. It's got max props. And he said something about them being set slightly differently, which is weird. We got here, we we're motoring at about 6.7 knots. So that's pretty good. We're going to be sailing most of the time. And now we're going to have a passage drink. And then we're going to go actually have some fun and splash around and do some things with some people. I haven't been doing much of that. Which one's mine? All right, here we are, back to Sandy Island after two years. We'll be back. We're not going far. We got at least one motor working. Rivers is more popular than we are. I'm okay with that. He already got picked up for a beach play date. Yeah. Yeah, he's making... I mean, that's exactly I know. what we wanted. I, I mean, it. we do want friends, too. But we wanted yeah. him, too. So now we can sit on the boat and work while he has fun. Yeah. Let our fun begin. <laughs> All right. I'm going into my hole. All right. You, you enjoy the... So. All right. Back on Cecilia for some final little odd jobs uh, before sea trial. We had the survey today. She did great. I didn't really have much question that she would. Just a couple small issues that I'm going to try to deal with uh, today before sea trial. A couple of hose clamps that need replaced. Going to put a zinc on. And otherwise, she's really looking good. Did very, very good for the survey. Rivers is keeping me company. We're still just doing little things to try to tidy up, fill in a few nail holes and things like that. Otherwise, man, she's, <laughs> she's pretty cleaned out. It's kind of weird. We do have a few things here in Rivers' room still. His tea lights, fairy lights, and his little sailboats. But I'd say we're doing pretty good. So I'm going to go slap a zinc on and uh, show you some shots of the new bottom. As you can see, she's looking pretty good. New zinc on, I almost forgot. Brand new cutlass bearing. And they also 
cleaned up both the attaching. That's like really nice. Everything's real clean. I might, I might do some sanding on the prop. All right, on to other jobs. This is the part where we give up on working on the boat and eat random things out of the freezer. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Like ice cream. ice cream that appears to have been frozen and melted about a dozen times. <laughs> Delicious. Sort of a grab bag of textures in there. Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's still chocolate. How you feeling? Tired. I'm over this. I feel like owning two boats is one and a half too many. <laughs> it's a big day for the Cecilia crew. Mostly because uh, we're about to not become the Cecilia crew. About to, about to become not the Cecilia crew. We're about to become the Ophelia crew. And that's our name for the boat. Yeah, that is the new name for the boat. But we've got the survey today. Eric did half the survey yesterday, the outside part, and now we're gonna put the boat back in and do the sea trial and uh, take one last Cecilia sail. It's a lot of S's. It's Cecilia's sail test. It's the Cecilia sail test, exactly. See? And we're supposed to be put back in the water at 8, and it's like 8 now, so let's go! Let's be honest, though. They're not. They're not going to be over there waiting on us. No. Even though we'd be hauling her right back out after the sea trial until the new owners arrive, this still felt like a huge milestone in getting through this whole process. And a little bittersweet, too. It would turn out to be our last sail on Cecilia. One last time. Get your feel. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to support our videos further, please check out our Patreon page. Cheers, and see you next week.